Hello everyone, it's Helder here from Natural Training Center. Uh, today I wanted to review a uh, couple of the Go Ruck packs. Um, they're way long overdue. I had uh, picked up the uh, GR2 probably a little over four years ago. Um, I've traveled a lot with it. I've uh, gone into the field a lot with it. I've pretty much done everything that I can do uh, with it. So it's probably a good time for review to share this information with you. Um, usually when we do do reviews, it's, uh, you know, you'll show the pros and show the cons. Uh, to be honest with you, within five, four years of uh, utilizing this pack, I have yet to find a con. Uh, some people might say the price is a con, but just like everything else, you get what you pay for. Um, and with Go Ruck, you're not only getting a superior product, you're, always, you're also getting um, amazing customer support, um, veteran-run staff, uh, very near and dear to my heart. I didn't know the staff, I didn't know uh, Jason. They treated me basically like family uh, right from the get-go. Uh, sent out an email asking about the product a few years ago. Support was unbelievable. Went ahead and purchased the product and uh, have nothing great, uh, nothing but great things to say about it. And uh, as a matter of fact, I actually ended up picking up the Echo uh, for other purposes and I'll go ahead and share that with you um, as we continue our review. So let's get right into the actual uh, pack itself. All right, so we have our GR2 uh, Go Ruck here. Okay, now um, a few things right from the beginning. The way that it's set up, you have all your uh, Molly compatible stuff here. So you have all these little things that you can cinch things onto, clip things onto, bungee cord things onto, dummy cord things onto. All right, so that's a beautiful thing because a lot of times if we're out there, uh, like I stated, uh, this pack is with me all the time. So keep in mind, my, li my lifestyle is going to be a bit different uh, than what your lifestyle is. But uh, keep in mind that this review is to get ideas. I am catering this to our NTC tribe uh, as far as um, the information that I'm conveying here. And for those of you that might not have the same needs, hopefully you'll still be able to, uh, to get some good information to help you make a choice to see if uh, the Go Ruck is a good solution for you when it comes to, um, to picking a pack. All right, so once again, going back to the outdoor setup, uh, simple little things, okay? Like uh, I like carrying fire starter stuff around with me. All right, little uh, petroleum jelly type stuff. Well, I don't really want that inside my pack because in my pack I also contain food. It'll contain uh, other stuff, electronics, clothing, all right, that I might not want to get any of this stuff uh, touching. So the fact that I can cord this to the outside and be safe and know that this is durable stuff, I mean, that right there is, uh, is a very good, good thing. Um, for fishing, critters, things like that, same thing. I like putting a pouch on the outside. Uh, go ahead and put your worms or whatever, your bait in there. Once again, you don't contaminate the inside of the pack. So there's all these little things that you can tell. You can also put a uh, hydration pack in here. So I use my camel pack in here. I take it out of the actual camel pack uh, that I have that I'll use when I'm running, solely just running. And if I'm going ahead hiking or you know going out on a hump or, or uh, even running the trails, let's say where I need a little bit more uh, more stuff to bring along with me because I'm going for the day or whatever and I might you know set up a fire and eat lunch out there uh, if I'm with my dogs uh, they're gonna need extra water they're gonna need food so once again the camelback won't be suffice for that that's when I'll go ahead and bring out this go ruck so we have this setup all right even here on the straps where you can put I'll use this uh, cheaper little d-ring okay that you find anywhere for 25 cents basically just to hold, hold the uh, hose uh, for my camelback to make it easier so it's not swinging back and forth on the trail or while I'm running I'll have a thicker carabiner down here that I'll actually chain my dogs to. I have a Jack Russell and I have a pit bull. Jack Russell, not so much of a problem. The pit bull itself, when he decides to pull, he pulls, all right, when he sees something on a trail. So it's nice to know that it's secure, I can be hands-free, and I have a quality product, a quality strap that's holding on to that. All these little things make a huge issue um, when you're out there and if something does go wrong, or if your dog does pull on you and rips your pack apart, and now they're out chasing other dogs or wild animals or in the middle of the street or in the, street or in the middle of a trail, keep all of this stuff in mind. Uh, you don't want it to happen. That's why we try to do these preemptive measures to, uh, to be prepared. Um, and that way we avoid uh, the bad stuff and enjoy the good stuff. So I'm going to rush through a lot of the details that you could actually find on the uh, Go Ruck website. And um, just basically show you what's configured more so for me. All right, so we have the outside where my MacBook or any laptop will fit in here perfectly. I've had PCs, I've had the MacBook. Um, fits perfectly in here, well protected, even what's in the field, even when I'm sweating through it. So uh, definitely something that you don't find in a lot of other uh, packs these days. It's either one way or the other. It's either good for technology or it's good for out in the field. Uh, with this pack, you're getting both, all right? You have your outside pockets. We already spoke about the uh, Molly setup. Attach all these things, little shovel here to pick up dog poop or to dig for critters uh, when we're fishing. All right, so stuff here on the outside, I'll keep uh, 
biodegradable doggy bags, just things that I need really quick where somebody can reach in a pack while I have it on and just reach in the outside pocket and grab something for me. Or if I do take it off and we're on a little break or whatever, I have access to what I need the quickest, especially when I'm by myself. You have an outdoor, uh, an outdoor, <laughs> an outside pocket here. All right, I'll keep different technology stuff. Uh, once again, you'll get a better detail of all of this stuff uh, on the website, but just examples, okay? Once again, cater to my lifestyle. I'm a coach, fitness, combatives, I teach firearms, so that's the stuff that this is going to be revolved around because I need to be able to take my pack and go and know that everything's in there rather than every morning trying to dig for stuff. So, of course, this is going to be prepared a lot differently than most people will that might not live the same exact lifestyle that I do or might only need this pack, let's say, on the weekends, okay? Once again, I use this for everything, whether I'm traveling uh, or whether I'm um, out in the field, you know, with the, the, the Natural Training Center tribe conducting some form of training, all right? We have pockets, all sorts of stuff. Everything's meshed in here. Uh, I have everything from compass to camo kits to little electronic gadgets to uh, pens, uh, zippos, anything that you need. Nice mesh pocket here where I'll keep a change of clothing, all right? Always have some spare underwear, spare t-shirt, all right? Once again, sweating, part of the lifestyle. You go to see another client, you want to be able to uh, switch out some clothes. Once again, these mesh pockets are ideal. Another mesh pocket on this side, once again, HDMI. I have uh, my prescription glasses. I'll keep a life straw in here. Once again, more bags for the dogs, some, uh, some night lights, uh, some uh, eye protection, okay? Uh, for, let's say, combatives play. Uh, we do a lot of uh, knife training, things like that, so we always want to be able to have our protective gear. Up here I have extra patches to give out to clients, uh, business cards, things like that. You know, always in a pinch, everything that I'll, that, you know, let's say that I would need. And easily accessible. Once again, nothing is super heavy, so no matter really where I'm hiking, uh, it's not anything that's going to put me out of commission. All right, and in here you have the center big pocket, all right? I don't have that much stuff in here. I took out a lot of the stuff, um, obviously, for the purpose of this review. But I'll keep my toothbrush in here, some extra USB chargers, okay, for the cell phone, uh, some tea, um, all sorts of stuff in here, different uh, wraps that I would need, let's say, for my knee, uh, waterproof matches, uh, buck knife, a uh, little hacky sack thing to break up some time. You know, in between, I have a mouthpiece. Um, once again, extra camera, always making videos, okay? Um, a uh, pair of binoculars, all right? Once again, everything is strapped in. There is a Molly type setup, well, which I love here. So you can tell everything is just itemized, itemized here. Uh, USB stick, all right? We got some extra 550 cord here. Uh, flip camera, Leatherman tool, all right? Another blade, whistle, uh, flashlight, all right? You name it, all of these little things, okay? A uh, spork, all right? Spoon and a fork, titanium. Uh, once again, always out in the field, and these are little things that I don't have to worry about. A lot of these decisions get made instantly. All right, it's like, hey, we're going fishing. Hey, we're going camping. Hey, we're going training. A client will call me last minute. You know, something opened up. Do you have an opening? I want to be able to grab my pack and know that whatever I need is in there. Once again, you want to develop it and cater to your lifestyle. You're going to get ideas from me. You're going to get ideas from a lot of other people, and then you're going to basically configure it to your lifestyle, figure out what works for you, okay? Uh, once again, I get into a lot more detail in our member area on the naturaltrainingcenter.com site where I actually give the uh, practical application for everything that we have in the packs. But since this is a standard go ruck review, I didn't want to get into that type of detail because some of you might not be interested in it, probably most of you might not be interested in it. So I'm trying to go and barrel through this as quickly as I can, but I also don't want to give an unjust review and maybe leave out something that's important that uh, might not factor in when you're making your decision, all right? That, that wouldn't really be fair to go ruck, and at the same time, it wouldn't be fair to the people that are listening and even to me because I'd be wasting my time, right? I already own them, and I already love the product. <clears throat> This brings me to the Echo, okay? Once again, picked this one up a few months ago, and mainly because I was traveling a lot for work, uh, going over to the United Arab uh, Emirates, and uh, going over to Europe, going back and forth, uh, spreading our natural training center method, and uh, things are working quite well. The issue that I was having is, once again, as I'm traveling with this pack, every time that I would go to the airport, I'd have to take it apart. And then the paranoia sets in, because once again, what do we do for a living? We teach combatives. Uh, we're always out in the field with all sorts of lighters and, 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 uh, and uh, matches and things like that. All sorts of blades, uh, uh, firearms, okay? We're NRA instructors, so that's a big part of what we do too. So there might be a casing in there around. So the last thing I want to do is get to the airport, you know, especially traveling to the Middle East and end up with that type of trouble. So I went ahead and got the Echo, okay? Uh, another reason, not just because of the unpacking, but also because of the size. 
uh, I'm one of those guys that whatever I have in my pack, I want access to, all right? I don't want to put it in the overhead bin and then have to bother the two people next to me every time I want to get up, especially on these super lengthy flights, all right? So I want to be able to tuck it underneath the seat in front of me, all right? So I would just about get, be able to do it with the uh, GR2, but once in a while, uh, when the uh, flight attendants would walk by, sometimes I'd get yelled at, sometimes they'd say, all right, go ahead, and I gotta put it up here, and then I'd be uh, an unhappy uh, an unhappy plane goer, so to speak, and I wouldn't have access to my stuff. All right, so I went ahead and got the Echo because of those reasons that I just named, all right, and because of the go rug quality that I know, hey, this is the purpose that I'm using it for now, but I'm pretty sure I'll have this thing a lifetime, and who knows what the uses will be in, in the future. But for right now, I wanted to be able to grab something once again, because a lot of times I'll get two days notice that I'm flying out somewhere uh, to conduct a workshop or a seminar. And I want to be able to say, OK, well, let me grab this thing because I know that it's airport security ready. Uh, we also train a lot, of, a lot of law enforcement and head to their academies. Same scenario. I don't want to walk in with a bunch of real blades or, or expended cartridges or, or even some ammo that might be in there, even if they're dummy rounds that we use for training. You know, guess what? You know, people don't assume that right from the beginning. So rather than getting into trouble and knowing better and being professionals, we want to address these things and not be judged by making these dumb little mistakes before we even walk into the place, all right? So knowing that I can grab this and I'm gonna just have the essentials, I can put my laptop in here, put the charger in there, and know that I'm good to go with nothing that would flag anything um, that would get me in trouble, all right? Simple little things that I keep in here. Once again, excellent pack. You can get all the details, once again, on the Go Ruck site, rather than me here re reiterating all of that. So what do I have here? I keep my compatible chargers, all right? So it doesn't matter if I'm in Europe or if I'm in the UAE, um, I, ha I can go ahead and plug into their sockets and be able to use my technology or else I can't really do work uh, and stay in touch with the rest of the tribe. All right, a toothbrush uh, in here, I'll, another zipper in here where I'll keep some business cards, some pens, some patches, things like that. Keep it lighter in here. I got my uh, my nunchucks pen uh, that were a gift. Of course, I have my uh, K bar uh, bottle opener. Right? So these are presents that we get uh, from guys in the tribe. Always appreciate it, and uh, you know they're good to go. Uh, once again, just components for my laptop. We're always doing presentations, uh, things like that. So I want to be make sure that I have everything. If it's not HDMI, I have the VGA version, so on and so forth. Some extra 550 cord can never go wrong with 550 cord. And once again, excellent component here in the uh, excellent uh, compartment here in the back for my MacBook 13 inch fits perfectly. You have a little bit of a Molly setup on this one too. Have a carabiner attached here. You know, once again, even when I'm traveling sometimes, I'm with my dogs, try to have my dogs with me as much as I can. And it's always great to have on here to keep me hands free so that I can make videos, so that I can take pictures, so that I can enjoy whatever I'm doing. All right, and at the same time, the uh, my buddies are with me. All right, so keep that in mind. Same scenario here, amazing quality. I, I can't speak enough about these. I mean, you can do pull-ups on these things. <laughs> you know, just hang it from the tree. I mean, they're, it's that strong. I can't speak enough about it. Um, you have your uh, your setup here, okay? So any patches that you want to put up here, as long as you have your Velcro going on. We have our NTC combatives. You know, here I actually ironed this one on as far as our NTC patch. All right, you know, these come on, come off. Once again, this pack's a little beat up, all right? But it's just cosmetically, and it's all my doing from putting patches on there and doing all sorts of stuff. But once again, you can just take it apart, throw it in your washing machine, wash it in cold water, and you're good to go, all right? Not a lot of packs out there that you could do that with. All right, so, um, other than that, I, there's not really much more that I can say besides if you are, really are thinking about uh, a new pack and something that's going to really uh, be there for you, all right? And you're going to buy it once and and and, uh, and not worry about it again, all right? Or buy it once and not worry about being in the trail and getting it caught up on something. I mean, I don't even think twice. You know, same with these. I'll, I'll go into the plane, throw it underneath. I know that my laptop's in there. Sometimes I'll take it out and put it in the, uh, the magazine bin that's in front of me. Other times I know that it's well protected here. You know, as far as with the padding uh, with this pouch. So I'm able to throw it underneath there uh, when we're hiking, when we're uh, cycling, anything like that. I'm very comfortable know that I can take it off, put it up against the tree. Even if I have my electronics in there, expensive electronics, I know that they're good to go. And I know that it's something, once again, four years already with this Go Ruck, and it's just as great as it was the first day that I got it. All right, so if you are thinking about it, give it a try. It's made in America. Uh, veteran-owned company, all right, what more can you possibly ask for, all right, go for it, good luck, if you have any questions and I can try to help you further, please comment below.